Right, this is a handheld video because I wanted to show you how my cloth is still on the board leaning up against a cupboard where it's safe and I'm kind of thinking I like it there at the moment until I get a chance to back it because it's safer there obviously nobody's going to touch it it's not going to come to any harm and it's not going to get creased etc um, my plans were scuppered today I wasn't supposed to be here I should have been going up the motorway at the moment but the weather's took a turn for the worse it's snowing and hail and everything so I'm not going anywhere um, so yeah so this is uh, the wrapping cloth still on the board where it'll stay for a couple of days because I'm not ready to put it together yet and I don't want to take it off there because as I say it's the safest place for it so I'll try I don't want it to be too shaky but I'll try and pull in a little bit and maybe show you different areas let's see if this will work Oh, maybe not yeah there so you know you're getting a better look at it now all the different sections that are joined together you can see actually quite well some good detail there so eventually I'm going to take this off here attach those prairie points I'm going to skip over that bit because it's the name of the people it's for and just in case they might see it attach those prairie points put a back on it and then I will have to post it because it's going abroad and I am actually going to see these people in the summer but I don't want to leave it that long I want them to have it because really it's their Christmas present even though they don't know about it they had, didn't get anything off me at Christmas time so they probably think I'm a right tight wad I'm trying to uh, not make it too shaky but you can see some applique there lots of bullion knots you can see I went a bit, went a bit OTT with bullion knots some French knots there on the left of those circular lace patterns a couple of prairie points already and some paddy deplique there a bit of patchwork um, more prairie points web stitch, cross stitch french knots, more web stitch, a lot of lace some quite nice lace edges, I like that you can see that going across horizontally there, that big seam with bullion knots, I really like that, I think it's really effective to do that and back up to that applique, that applique there, the white stuff and then you know we've got a lot of web stitches here and there are the pins at the top um, if we go down to the bottom it gets a bit darker as you get to the bottom there's a vintage panel there with that beautiful flower on and there's some buttonholes there and more bullion knots, some cross stitch there right in the centre there with a lace edge and french knots going around there some more lace there and some more padded applique and I think this measures about 36 by 20 something like that and then we've got more cross stitch over there and going up that side there so I think that's a pretty good overall look I do love those bullion knots pretty good overall look at that so and my scheduled timed post that was supposed to go out today when I wasn't here will go out tomorrow now so I'm gonna watch this back because I'm not sure it might be too shaky